Welcome to the channel T, exploring the mysteries. Today we will delve into a deep and profound topic. Why do demons and deities always coexist? Let's explore the reasons and beliefs surrounding this issue. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to not miss any upcoming exciting videos. Now let's begin our journey of discovery. Why do demons and deities always coexist? Dualism Theory The theory of dualism is one of the fundamental reasons explaining the coexistence of demons and deities. This theory suggests that the universe is composed of two opposing but complementary elements, good and evil. This balance maintains harmony in the universe. Example In Zoroastrianism, the main forces are Ahura Mazda, god of light, and Angra Mainyu, god of darkness, constantly battling each other to maintain balance. In Christianity, there is God representing goodness and Satan representing evil. This opposition creates the narrative of the struggle between good and evil in human life. The coexistence of demons and deities is also considered a way to maintain balance and harmony in the universe. According to Taoist philosophy, everything in the world has two opposing sides that depend on each other to form a complete whole. Example, yin and yang in Taoism. Yin and yang represent two opposing but inseparable forces, like light and darkness, day and night. The balance between these elements is the foundation for the existence and development of all things. People often ask, why do both saints and demons exist in the world? If God is the creator, why did he not create only saints and good things? From the beginning, God created all things good. Among all the gifts given by God to humanity, there is one special gift, freedom. Thanks to freedom, humans are different from mass-produced bricks or a flock of factory farm chickens that cannot defend themselves. Because humans have freedom, they can choose between good and evil. Actions done consciously and freely allow people to become saints or demons. They cannot blame others but must take responsibility for their actions. Thus, evil cannot be attributed to God but is a product of humans abusing their freedom. While demons can never become saints, sinful humans can be purified if they sincerely come to God. If weeds in the field can never become wheat, sinners can become perfect if they repent and return to the Heavenly Father. Catholic doctrine asserts that no matter how sinful a person is, if they repent, they will be forgiven. God is a loving Father who always welcomes back the prodigal son. The church's doors are always open for everyone to enter, regardless of their wealth, baptism status, sinfulness, or sanctity. The mission of the faithful is to become saints. Throughout life, daily efforts aim to bring us closer to God. Being holy is receiving a part of God's holiness, who is the most holy, and shares His holiness with humans and creatures. May God bless and strengthen us on our journey to holiness, a challenging journey filled with joy and hope. Lessons and spiritual development Demons and deities exist for humans to learn and grow. The presence of evil helps people recognize the value of good, thereby developing their souls and ethics. Example, in many religions, stories about the struggle between good and evil are not only moral lessons, but also help people find meaning in life, develop their character and foster compassion. Diversity of human experience. Human life is a mixture of joy and pain, happiness and suffering. Demons and deities reflect this diversity, helping people understand and accept the different aspects of life. In folklore and legends, demons and deities often appear together in stories about human life and journeys, reflecting the complexity and multidimensional nature of the world. Role in culture and religion. Demons and deities play an important role in shaping and maintaining cultural and religious values. They are not only symbols of good and evil, but also tools to convey moral lessons and life philosophies. In Hinduism, gods and demons have their own stories, conveying lessons about karma and ethics. Vishnu and Shiva are crucial in maintaining the universe's balance, existence as part of human nature, Finally, demons and deities coexist as part of human nature. Everyone has the capacity for good and evil. The struggle between good and evil in the human soul is an inseparable part of life. Many religions and philosophies emphasize that humans need to recognize and control their dark sides to develop their souls and achieve enlightenment. Conclusion 
the coexistence of demons and deities is not only a factor in religion and culture, but also a part of human nature. We learn from both, develop, and find meaning in life through this balance. Thank you for watching today's video on the tea, exploring the mysteries channel. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons to not miss any upcoming interesting videos. Please leave a comment below about the topic you want us to explore in the next videos. See you in the next video and let's continue to explore the mysteries of the world together.